Could you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, my name's Emma Hatton and I am um, currently the Green Witch in, um, in the musical Wicked, Elphaba. What's your favourite part of what you do? Oh, there's so many elements um, of what I do that, that are amazing. Um, I would say one of the main things is the amazing transformation that I get to do every single day. So it doesn't matter how tired you are or how rough you're looking. Um, you come in every day um, and uh, this amazing makeup on Wigs team basically do an overhaul of you um, and sort of 25 minutes later you can look in the mirror and be a completely different person. Um, and then add to that obviously being able to put on the incredible costumes, um, to go on stage and, and act such a such an incredible role um, that has got so, such a journey. So it's, it's, it's a really kind of exciting thing to do every single night. It's quite emotionally exhausting as well as, as, well as physically. Um, but it's to be able to sing those incredible songs that are so iconic. And I think maybe uh, one, of the, one of the main sort of uh, huge joys about what I'm able to do is to be able to see the response from the audience um, and the impact that it has on them. Because it's such a a rousing, well, performance from everybody, you know, it's, it's something that really moves something in everybody. When was the first moment you fell in love with theatre? Um, oh gosh, I mean I've always performed to a certain degree, well, different standards, obviously I started out when I was younger at school um, and was lucky to have some really inspiring teachers that got me into musical theatre um, and music uh, as a separate entity as well, so I've always loved that. Um, if I had to pinpoint a moment that I knew that I wanted to do it as a career, um, I remember vividly going to watch um, a performance of Anything Goes at Bristol Hippodrome with my mum, my dad and my nana. And I think that was the first moment that I can remember actually having that sort of feeling that I wanted to be up there as opposed to in the audience. Um, so if I had to pinpoint one moment, but I think it's been an accumulation of of lots of different moments in my life that have made me want to pursue it. What advice would you give your younger self? Oh, um, not to be too hard on myself, I think. Um, certainly something that I've learned in the business uh, is that you do need to have a thick skin because a lot of the time you do get told no um, and it's not necessarily that you're not capable of the job, it's that you're just not right for it. Um, so. I learnt after a lot of heartache, a lot of tears, a lot of self-doubt um, to kind of just accept that it was, as long as I'd done the work and I'd done the best that I could, that it wasn't necessarily that I wasn't good enough, it was just that I wasn't right for that particular job and, and as my career has gone I've missed out on jobs that I thought were right for me but around the corner was a much more suitable job for me and I wouldn't have met the people that I had if I hadn't have got those jobs so I guess really just to to not dwell on things, to come out of an audition room and to just let it go. As long as I knew that I'd done the preparation and worked really, really hard, that it was kind of out of my hands at that point. So, yeah, not to be too tough on myself. Finally, if your life were a musical, <laughs> what would the grand finale number be? Oh, gosh. Um, okay, if we're talking, like, big show-stopping musical theatre finale, um... I would probably say that one of my dreams was to perform in the West End. One of my dreams that I've yet to fulfil is to perform on Broadway. So I would like to think that if it was at the accumulation of my career, um, that I would have achieved that, that goal as well. So I'm going to say New York, New York, because it's a pretty cool song. I can imagine there are lots of high kicks, big show stopping number. So yeah, I'm going to go. That's probably not very cool, um, <laughs> but I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.